Hello there listeners and welcome to the Algerian Youth Voices. This is your host, Ben Asher Abdelbaqi from Wargla. A lot of young people have faced and suffered from many problems during their time life. And a lot of them knew how to deal with their problems by mixing them with their hobbies. So this story is a very unique one. Sad, or the so-called Staffler Rock, is going to share his story with you. Our reporter, Faisal Tabal, takes it from here. This is the story of the Shoraik Ngad. It was the type of stories that lovers tried their whole lives of stumbling across. I thought all days about the interview and the questions I wanted to ask. Love, young love, is there anything more powerful? Saad, or Stifler Rock, had a love experience that made him create a piece of music. It is a guitar solo which I've created that carried a lot of emotions, some betrayedness, her feeling, and that what pushed me to create uh, this emotion a guitar solo, yeah. That solo was created for the love of his life. It's a long story about me and my ex-girlfriend. It's not just normal boyfriend but girlfriend problem. It's something else, something completely different, really. Feelings were beating him from the in and the outside. But after getting better, he started talking about it. Well, actually, I've created into three parts and each part was much painful, more than the other one. It was like I was perfect with my girlfriend. Everything was like heaven and earth, but they set me up. The most horrible moment came then. When a good thing is happening, the worst part has to appear. They trapped me by telling her that I kissed another girl, but actually I didn't do it. They blamed me all. I felt so guilty. I blamed myself. I felt alone. Then I lost my girlfriend. Even at home, I was so isolated in my room, just me and my guitar. I had a flashback of all the sweet memories. In the meanwhile, I couldn't get my feelings out. Suddenly, I remember when a tear fit my guitar's neck. I was so injured from inside. I felt like my guitar talked to me and cried instead of me. Really, I was living a nightmare. For three months, we didn't talk. The fake shiny light that Siffler saw in the back, like a fake summer water line in the middle of nowhere. A few days later, she realized that I was honest with her. And the others were lying on her. I was so happy because our relationship flourished all over again. The fake shiny line should be disappeared and the good has to appear all over again. I asked her best friend to take care of her, but the most horrible thing started then. Look, Sab, I truly consider you as a brother to me, okay? Your girlfriend is cheating on you and I'm afraid to tell you that she was engaged. But unfortunately, she didn't tell you. Sad was surprised that his ex-girlfriend was engaged the month he was deciding to get back with her and she did not tell him. It was not fair for me. Why? Because I'm not rich? I'm just a student? Or because I was too loyal and honest with her? I felt that something is different. I felt like something was hidden. When I asked him about knowing this whole thing, he was hesitating answering me and he said, I don't know. Maybe because I really loved her. That's why I felt that she was different from our first time. It was a big shock for me, really. I felt so lonely that I didn't cry or something like that because she had chosen another person. It was such a bad year for me, believe me. After I asked him how he did face the problem, he said it was the second wave that pushed him to continue his emotional guitar solo. He was playing guitar wildly and for a long time till his fingers bled. I didn't feel anything because my inside pain was much hurtful because I was badly injured from the inside. So like this, I finished my musical guitar solo. Sad did not surrender. He wanted to prove something that led him to the truth. I was curious about knowing her fiancé, but when I saw his Facebook profile with girls and stuff, I was down. I had a crazy idea to ask the girls that I know to send him a friend request to test him. The worst part that Steffler discovered about the fiancé is a womanizer after the screenshots were sent to him by the girls of the discussions he hired to test the fiancé. 
Oh my God, he was cheating on her. She took a wrong way. She didn't know how to choose the perfect person. Sefra sent her all the conversations with the girls. Then, boom, it was a shock for her, seeing her fiancé betrayed in her. I told her, please, don't stay with him. He's not a good person. Then she started crying and said, why you did all this? I said, I think you know why. One week later, we met again. When she saw me, she started crying. I rubbed her tear with my thumb and I said, it's too late to apologize. I turned around and walked away with a tear in my eye. I was so down. I deleted her phone number and read her from my Facebook. And like that, our love story finished. And then I named the solo, She's Gone. I asked Stifler about the She's Gone titling. He honestly answered, Well, the girl that I loved is gone. Only her body is back. But the soul I adored is gone. As a reporter, I was so excited to give you this part to hear it because it's worth to be heard. I want to ask you a simple question. Do you still love her? Look, my friend, now I'm the one who's gonna ask you a question. May I? Okay. What do you think? If a tear went down from your eye, can you put it back again? Oh my god, this is a difficult question to answer. And Siffler's last word was. Thank God for the American music encounter that guided me to spoil my whole feelings in a piece of music. Unless music, I would be in another way, like drinking wine or taking drugs, something like that. And that's what other people would do if they were in my situation. Thank you, Sad Stifler, for sharing with us the spectacular, amazing and wonderful story. And your piece of music was spectacular either. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and goodbye. I hope you get it all, and I hope that you learned something through our sad stories. See you next time with more stories. Goodbye.